Selling boats faster. Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed Medway. Today we're going to have a look at a Princess 33, Mark 1 that's for sale. And we're going to start looking um, outside. So we'll start with the side decks. Decent sized side decks as you'd expect with an on-slip surface. Windows to the port side and grab rails. Here we have a midship's cleat and looking towards the foredeck and the coach roof. This is quite a good sized boat. They're really built like brick outhouses. You'll see that there's a still shot of the winch and there are the controls for the winch on the right hand side there. Got two meaty cleats either side of the winch as well. Some rather useful fender holders to port and starboard. Here we have our hatch open giving us a little bit of a blow through. And there we have our anchor. Looking back you can get an idea as to how much of a robust boat she is. And then have a look down the side deck on the starboard side as well. You'll also see the antenna and dome. Here we have the windows with windscreen wipers. And as we walk back, we take a peek in the cockpit. Right here we look into the cockpit. See it's an absolutely massive cockpit. Cover has been um, rolled back for the purposes of my video and photography. You can see it's a jolly good size area here. There's a massive lazarette locker too that you'll see from the still shots. And again, you've got some meaty cleats. I'm finished looking at the starboard side deck. Now we're going to have a look inside this lovely Princess 33. And coming from the cockpit, which currently has its cockpit table set up, we will go into the first cabin. Now here on the starboard side is a seat which basically opens out, as you'll see from the still shots, you pull out the bottom part and it forms a really good sized double berth. Otherwise it's very comfortable for sitting on and keeping the helmsman company. Speaking of the helm, here we are on the port side. Here's our helm seat and ship's wheel. Wiring is located underneath and easily accessible. There's our lovely badge there of excellence. Beautiful marine projects vessel. We have our dashboard giving information on your oil, engine temperature, batteries and all the turbo and revs with the information you could need. And then we also have our electrics panel, our anchor winch control. Note that there are controls up forward as well on the deck. Here's our Alta Helm 6000. And I think that's a fish finder. This is a VHF DSC Cobra, I think she is, yes. Radio. Here's our 
told you. Moving downstairs now. You can see on the starboard side a really good sized galley with work space, work tops. Work top here conceals the hob that you'll see from the still shots. You've got your oven and grill, fridge and storage, a heating vent there. And there's plenty of space here for all your crockery. Nice window to look out of whilst you're preparing your supper or a sandwich. Now this is a lovely saloon seat here, a nice place to dine, a good sized table. The table, as you'll notice underneath, it's got a lever there. This is, allows it to be lowered and then the cushions can be formed to make yet another large double berth. As you can see there's lots and lots of storage here, cupboards all around, there's some speakers there, there's a radio here. There's three point electric plug points and lights around as well. This is the heads in here, which we'll look at in a moment. Moving forward into the forward berth, this little section here actually pulls out if you want to have it arranged as a twin berth setup or a double, the choice is yours. So either side just comes up and out like so, and voila. This is a very smart boat, built wonderfully and will provide another family or couple with many more years of enjoyment on the water. She's capable both of inland cruising and also cruising our coastal waters too. Last but not least, we have the heads as well. Um, a very good size. Shower tray there, shower curtain, and a proper shower installed. You have a sink, storage under, and windows that open to give a lot of light and fresh air. Uh, 